Hello, everyone. I'm Renown Zero, and we are back again talking about Adam Driver saying that Kylo Ren's redemption arc in The Rise of Skywalker wasn't originally planned in the Star Wars sequel trilogy by terrible director J.J. Abrams, and that things changed film to film. Well, considering you had different directors having their own visions, of course, this would happen, considering Ryan Johnson absolutely destroyed the entire Star Wars franchise with one movie, getting rid of the greatest character in the films, which was Luke Skywalker, the one character that everyone had looked up to. And there are spoilers for the movies that are the worst movies I've ever seen, some of the worst movies I've ever seen. And I just want to get it out of the way that I want to say the sequel trilogy is absolute trash. I love the prequel trilogy. The original trilogy is always going to be the best to me. And that's that. That's all I really have to say about that. Coming to us from, of course, IGN, which I archived the link because IGN sucks. They're a terrible website. They've been a terrible website for so many years. And they should go the way of the dodo. Kylo Ren's redemption arc in the Star Wars sequel trilogy wasn't originally planned, actor Adam Driver has said. Well, plenty of channels, like Nerd Roddick, Geeks and Gamers, Critical Drinker, and all these other channels have been saying this forever. So, as reported by Collider, Driver admitted on the Rich Elson show that the original plan for Kylo Ren, who started off as the big bad in Episode 7, The Force Awakens, before returning to his original good guy Ben Solo alias in The Rise of Skywalker, trash films was to have him turn more and more evil as the films went on essentially the opposite of what vader was quote i had an overall arc in mind that likely in force awakens jj abrams wanted to do this which then changed quote his idea was almost the opposite journey of vader where vader starts the most confident the most committed to the dark side and by the last movie he's the most vulnerable and weak and he wanted to start the opposite where this character was the most confused and vulnerable and by the end of the three movies would be the most committed to the dark side considering that jj abrams another trash director essentially had to clean up the mess that ryan johnson had to put out there with the absolute most garbage movie ever the last jedi this all changed obviously because of that the sequel trilogy started off strong as the likes of original trilogy stars Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and Mark Hamill returned alongside new cast members like Adam Driver, Daisy Ridley, and John Boyega, and Oscar Isaac. But many fans turned sour on Star Wars upon the release of The Last Jedi, and even more so when Episode Nine, The Rise of Skywalker, released, because apparently you could just take somebody's last name even though they've never personally given it to you in any way, shape, or form. You can somehow adopt yourself into the most well-known family in star wars the skywalkers she's a palpatine plain and simple point blank period beyond fans not enjoying certain story developments the fact that ray was an absolute mary sue and she was a terribly written character terrible development and absolutely had no real arc yeah the main criticism came as a result of the films not feeling planned as a trilogy with plot elements seemingly changing between each movie while some of these came as a result of the unforeseen and tragic passing of Carrie Fisher, who played a central role in the sequel trilogy. Others like Finn's unfulfilled setup as a Force-sensitive left many fans frustrated. Yes, Stormtrooper gone Force-sensitive to Jedi would have been a great arc. And you could have had your little diversity points. Driver's comments therefore come as further evidence of the lack of planning across the three films. So, more and more evidence, as always, coming out, even from people who have starred in said Star Wars movies, the sequel trilogy made by Disney, continue to show that these movies were not planned, they have always were meant to be pieces of garbage, and they're always going to be known as pieces of garbage, farts in the wind, absolute trash, that no one will remember for decades to come. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit the like button. Comment below if you feel about all this. Subscribe for more content and hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all that way you get notifications anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.